Hello everybody! For science class today, we are on location in the canals by the Methodist Church here on Marco Island. And our essential question today, what is survival of the fittest? Survival of the fittest means adapt or die. Now, last week on Tuesday night, shout out to Maggie Poling and Addison O'Gorman for howling at nine o'clock. Appreciate it, and to everybody else that howled. Uh, nine o'clock on Tuesday night was a super moon, the biggest super moon of the year. And today, we're here on this location because we're experiencing a king tide, which corresponds to that super moon. A king tide means an exaggerated higher tide than normal. And so, we're here at this seawall, and we're gonna measure how much more space there is. It looks like there is less than six inches before this seawall gets breached. <clears throat> Now, this is going to become more and more of a, a situation due to climate change and rising sea levels because of the increased levels of carbon dioxide, warmer temperatures, more melting ice, rising sea levels. We're going to have to get used to this. So, uh, that climate change can, in fact, be a limiting factor that leads to extinction. Shout out to Cat Libby for her polar bear poster. The polar bears are an indicator species because they are going to be threatened with climate change. The ice is melting, they're gonna to have to swim farther, they're gonna to struggle to survive. Uh, adaptations, as you learned by your readings last week, come from genes. And you made a gene last week. Shout out to Maddie Good. Maddie Good sent me a photo of her Twizzler gene model. Remember apples in the tree, cars in the garage, adenine goes with thymine, cytosine goes with guanine. Oh, indeed. And after you make your model, <laughs> you can enjoy it. Speaking of enjoying your models, I got this pink poster, and since it is Easter, Imagine this little blue bunny. Its adaptation for camouflage is not working for it right here. So this poor little bunny, its adaptations are going to lead to its death. Mm. Uh -uh, a blue combination of Twizzler and pink. Mm. Now, these genes are what inevitably led to the dinosaurs' extinction. They did not have the adaptations to survive the conditions from the meteor strike 65 million years ago. And they all died out not so fast. This week's lesson, you're gonna learn that it is believed now with scientific investigations and evidence, some of the dinosaurs survived. The little ones with feathers they evolved into birds. Now, of course, there's more to this story, but here's what I want you to consider. In addition to eating Twizzlers and Peeps and Fruit Loops, please go enjoy some Kentucky Fried Dinosaur. Indeed, it is believed that modern day birds are just descendants of earlier dinosaurs. So, let's see. Mm. You me. Twizzler, Peep, and Kentucky Fried Dinosaur. Mmm, that was the best fishing dinosaur I've ever had. So, have a happy Easter. Now, back to more important things. Let's see if everything goes okay. We'll have a little dinner, a little fish dinner. Have a great day. Happy Easter.